Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video and this video is a follow-up to a video posted five months ago back in April uh, 2020 right at the start of the UK coronavirus lockdown and it, uh, the video was an unboxing of this Astel and Kern um, Super Junior uh, Super Junior oh, is it Super Junior AK Junior it's a basically a version of the AK Junior high-res audio player. This is the bottom lowest spec um, uh, audio player. Still fairly expensive. You're looking around £200 now uh, new. You probably pick it up for about 150 even less um, second hand. So like I say, I've had this for now for five months. It's not got as much use as, it, uh, as my previous audio players because of lockdown, but it, that's been used for about an hour every day, just usually um, accompanying me on a run. Um, so it's given me a lot of chance to actually use it uh, as it would be used. Obviously, not a lot. Uh, normally, I would be using it a lot longer on commutes and uh, for traveling, but we've not had any of this. So we'll let's kick it in. And the first thing that lots of people have said, well, no, I said, I've not actually noticed it on any of the reviews, but... The buttons aren't particularly responsive, I think. Um, see, it takes a while from pressing the button to actually starting up. So once it, you know, the screen kicks in, then I'll start the stopwatch. Okay, so, see, I'm pressing it there. Bang. There, so, that's quite, it's about, you have to hold it for about three seconds before it actually uh, kicks in. So if you can see it there, you can only see, so it's waiting, waiting on retrieving file list, retrieving the list. Okay, bang, and that was the last song that was played, so we'll pause it there. So 26 seconds, which, let's say 25 seconds for my uh, slowness at um, pressing the button. Um, it's, it's okay, it's not, it's not fast at all, not compared to a... It's a bit comparable to uh, rebooting your mobile phone. Um, now, I'm going to be using like a pair of old headphones. These are really cheap old uh, headphones I used to use many years ago for DJ and all the phones going grotty and everything. Um, so normally, what I normally use, again, only a cheap pair. I think they're about £40 from... Um, oh, and I said Carphone Warehouse. What's it called? That really nice Wi-Fi shop, um, hi-fi shop. I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, Richard Sounds, that's it. Um, they're okay, you know, they're 40 pounds. They're not ex super expensive. Uh, they're an okay set of headphones. That's what I've been using for them. But I'll just use this um, uh, now for the purposes of demonstration because one of the earphones has actually gone on it. Now, so you see the screen's timed out there. So just to get the screen back on, you just need to tap the power button and it comes on. Not focusing, but there you go. So we'll plug that in. Now, normally, especially when I'm running, I always have my player on shuffle, so you can see the shuffle icon in the top there. Okay, so click to play. I don't know. Oh, let's see what the volume is. Now, this is one thing I really do like about the player, is the volume. You've got the dial at the side, but then you can also squeeze it right down or bring it right up. All right, so and click play. So you can probably hear it. You don't wanna, so let's get it if we increase the volume. So you could read, now that's the one key aspect that I really do love. Even with using just a cheap pair of headphones, like those uh, sound magic ones the sound quality is excellent normally when i'm traveling i would use my bose uh bose bose uh, um noise cancelling headphones and which again not super expensive but about 200 pounds but the sound quality i would i've listened to it a couple of times for them but obviously not out and about and it is excellent um and like i say now we're playing that through a broken pair of headphones and i can hear it here now really clearly and good now let's say we want to skip now this is one of the things that really bugs me about this player is it's 
the shuffle is not very random at all. It will go to specific songs. It probably won't do it now because I'm filming the review. But for example, there's certain songs that it will go to. You know, it'll end, you you close it down on one song and then it opens up on the same song. Fair enough, you carry on listening. The shuffle's still on. You expect it to go to whichever song comes next. Um, and, you know, a, a totally random song, but it will go to one that uh, you've heard very recently. And it does this very, very often. Um, let's see. Right. So I'm going to go just skip there. So there's your forward and back buttons. And there's certain songs like one that always turns up is uh, Number 11 by The Blue Tones. Um doesn't matter what they are now. Another one is uh, Subterranean Homesick Blues by Bob Dylan. There's a, a classical piece of liturgy. Um, there's Money Changes Everything by The Smiths. But the similar songs like that will always just turn up on the, the shuffle. Right, so here we go. Let's see what comes up. Number 11 by The Blue Tones, which is Blue Tonic, where it says that is the... Uh, published title of it and that now if i skip it again it probably goes to i think a barbershop song or maybe the, the subterranean homesick blues song i don't know oh no the beatles okay when in doubt okay um and that's another thing so let's say we'll, let's turn the volume up so you can maybe hear it as it's going Okay, so you want to skip that, okay? Oh, I don't want to listen, Blondie. See how long it takes between the pressing the skip and then the actual um, uh, song loading, which is, I think, it's really very, very slow con compared to uh, what I'm used to on uh, using an old I iPod, especially the old iPod I was using... Um, it was a hand drive. Now this is all solid state, so all the data on here is um, it's in the memory card. So it should be instantly. Um, obviously, it's doing something else now. Um, it should be instant, 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 but it's not. Uh, so it's clicked onto genres. So the, in the screen. That's another negative point. The screen is very, very unresponsive. So let's see. Well, we want to look at songs. So we, it's playing the song from my sugar, sugar Spoon Sister by the Stone Roses. So click on that. Now look at the time it takes just to access the list of songs. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, here we go. So and then there's your list. Now here we go. So we want to scroll through the list. Now some reviews have, have mentioned this, thankfully, and it is fairly poor the screen um, um, screen responsiveness okay so it's just slow and then sometimes you go oh I'm car I'll and it'll there it's probably done has it done it there no sometimes it'll you you scroll in and oh it actually plays the song rather than scrolling it okay um, you click on that so you gives you the album art and the resolutions pretty poor but again it's not what it is it's it the key is in the actual audio um it's interesting there because this is from a, a live cd the actual sounds you can't really hear it there you go i don't know what the quality of that is it's probably a one is it a 128k yeah it's a 128k so it is a plus point when you listen to a high res file like a flak or they do sound really good especially on the good headphones playlist i've not bothered um putting any playlists up on it um uh, but oh yeah, here we go albums again so again it takes ages to look at the albums okay and these are obviously because of the bad tags there so i've got on lots of the files yeah Okay, there's a little thing there, so you can see the little sidebar. You can try and hold that and drag it. It's a lot easier to do now uh, because I don't have the cover on it. Um, but when the cover's on it, it's a little bit because it goes right to the edge and you can't really touch where the edge is on it. 
Okay. Uh, and what else is there to say about it? Oh, the screen protectors, which uh, Astle and Kern provide, are not very good. Uh, if we cut the screen out there again, you can see some bubbling on it there. Yeah. Not particularly brilliant. You're supposed to be thinking, well, oh, God, it's nice of them to put it in. So you, you get better ones from um, the cheap old sellers on eBay, uh, you know, from China. They're pretty good. Uh, nowadays, compared to some of these, um, folders will let you look at what you've got on your SD card. Again, see the responsiveness. So let's go for another shuffle. Okay. See, so, yeah, and again, that celebrate some of that T Rex song often turns up. Sex machine. Right, and then to find out your info on the song, you've got to click on the song. Crawling Chaos. Uh, it will put subtitles on, or subtitles, lyrics, if they are lyrics attached to the, the file. That will give you your information about the file. So, what file type it is, the bit rate, what size it is. Pretty good. There is a. Um, turn the EQ on so you can adjust that so it's pretty cool again so the sound quality let's turn that off oh no where's that go see you want to go back you want to go forward it's so slow oh. it takes an age see what I mean and by the time you get there you think well I didn't want to do that anymore I'm fed up with that. Like, I want to do this. This is terrible, isn't it? Like, I mean... Oh, finally. Right, let's skip again. Let's turn the volume up so we can actually hear... So you can actually hear something. Okay. So the birds, that one. Sky at night. You can see... How long it takes from actually... Says this is the track, then it leaves a good few seconds playing it. And there's another uh, thing I've noticed with some tracks, which are spoken word tracks, it'll cut the end off if it's on shuffle. And um, you think, hang on, well, why is it missed off the last couple of seconds of that track? Same with if it's a if you've got a, a live album and you've got it sequent, you're playing the album from track one to the end. Um, it'll pause in between it'll give you a little pause between the tracks so it's like putting silences between tracks which you don't really want well I don't want anyway I think well let's ruin the flow of the um, uh, the flow, flow of the album if it's, and the flow of the gig because it's a live gig uh, genres never actually bother with that because obviously you put tags on your files um, artists again that just gives you your, your artists that's your settings. So you can do Bluetooth. I always use wired headphones. Um, lock, system, auto scan, power. Auto power off, backlight off, sleep off. Um, and that's another thing, sort of like, you. it's just not very responsive and you've got to sort of like, right, I want to turn it off. So you've got to press and hold it. You know, you can't just like, uh, what I do like about the iPods is you press and hold the play thing, bang, cuts it off within a couple of seconds. Um, so, I don't know. If you like listening to albums all the way through uh, and you've got really good headphones, then I would definitely uh, get one of these, you know. But if you like shuffles and like different mixes and playlists and what have you, I would um, I wouldn't avoid it. I just, it's, I don't know, it's just, I'm not saying I can't get on with it, but I just miss the usability um, of a, of an iPod. So I shall be returning to it. So thank you very much for the experience, Astle and Kern. I mean, if the super expensive uh, £3,000 um, um, uh players are just as un I won't say unuser friendly but as clunky as this then um I wouldn't really be very impressed. I mean for the price I suppose but the sound quality like I say the sound quality is excellent so if you've got a really good expensive pair of headphones or mid range good quality headphones then um it would be yeah an ideal um 
uh, an ideal player, especially because they've you've got you've got sixty four gig on board, and you can put a sixty four uh, gig card into the slot. Um, so you know you could fit quite a lot of uh, flax and lossless and wavs in there. So it's interesting there saying most played, most played is number eleven by Plutonic. That's because it always shuffles to it. Um, there's the barbershop song, that liturgy of St. John. Money changes everything. Celebrates summer. Yeah. So it, that that's an annoying thing. And then if you skip again, it goes again to the, another often played track. It doesn't play something totally random. So I don't know if that's some sort of um, software issue that, um, that the Astle & Kerr has. Because I know... Um, you know, when it was loading, it said what version it was, and I think it's on 1.03 now. It's definitely changed from the first uh, release of it, which was back in, I think, in 2005 or 15. 2015, not that 2005. Uh, it wasn't 2005, I know that. Um, yeah, so back in 2015. Okay. Well, thanks very much for watching. Um, cheers. Bye.